What's up everyone? I'm Chris Fowler and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about Epic Simray Build Part Number 3. Uh, I'm excited. It's taken about seven weeks to get this. Um, this is a bunch of stuff from Apex Racing. Uh, I spoke with Jimmy over the last several months. Um, we came up with a few things that I, I got from him. Uh, I'm super excited. So we have a lot of stuff in here. I wanted to show you guys because it's really cool stuff in here. Um, I can't wait to get started, uh, get this on the rig. Um, it's from Apex Sim Racing, uh, Jimmy over there. Super nice. Um, you need to check him out if you haven't checked out Apex Sim Racing. They have a lot of cool stuff on their website. Um, he's very responsive. Um, he's good at feedback, uh, answering questions. I'm um, getting back to you really quickly. So uh, definitely be sure to check Apex Sim Racing out. Um, talk to Jimmy, and he will get you hooked up with anything that you need. So he, he custom built a button plate for me. Uh, but I also have a button box and some other goodies in here. So we're going to get those open and uh, show you what's in the box. So let's get started. Got a trusty little knife here. Got a nice little thank you letter from Jimmy. A lot of peanuts. So let's stick in here. Alright. We got some wraps here, so let's go ahead and get this out of here. So these the first item that's in here. Six of the button box that we ordered. Now this is uh, he calls it the race deck. This is the uh, button box and it holds the uh, string deck XL. So it's a two in one box basically. Almost got it out of there. Let's it right up here. Put that in the picture. There we go, look at that. So uh, we got 10 buttons and then we have four rotaries and then of course we, got, we can put our string deck XL in here. Um, it's got one USB. I'll uh, we'll have to use uh, the USB from the Stream Deck as well. This does take up two USBs, but uh, I bought a hub, uh, USB port, so we'll be good there. But um, as you can see, the buttons are super nice, uh, tactile buttons. You know, you press them down, they're really good. Uh, roadies, you can you can hear that maybe click. You can hear that clicking on each one. Um, so good feedback on the rotaries. Um, it's carbon fiber on the front, carbon fiber on the back. Just a 3D printed box, super lightweight, super nice. Um, it says Apex here at the top, um, Apex on the back here. And we got uh, four buttonholes for the uh, to mount it. Uh, I bought the um, SimLab button box holder, so we're gonna go ahead and mount uh, that to there. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, Apex Sim Racing uh, Race Deck button box, uh, String Deck XL button box. So super excited about this. This is gonna be awesome. So we'll get that to the mountain to the rig tonight. Alright. Let's see what else is in here. I believe this is probably the button plate that I ordered for a turn racing R20 wheel. I'm still waiting for that to arrive. I'll do an unboxing for that wheel as well. Uh, when we get it. Hopefully that'll be here soon. Everything is well packaged. Super nice package here. Get this out of here. tape on here which is good. Super great packaging. We'll keep these things all in nice shape. Which is what you expect I mean, from Jimmy. Got these pieces of tape here. We're almost 
smoke out of that there. There it is. This is basically uh, he has these on his website. It's a uh, button plate for a Mod 30. It will fit the Turn Racing R20. Um, but also, what he did is he custom built. He put the um, the Asher shifters and clutch paddles on there for me. So uh, you can see great feedback. Um, all the buttons are super nice. You can get the push buttons, the rotaries. So you know that you're pushing everything. You got toggle switches, up and down toggle switches. You got two of those here. Um, tons of buttons. Uh, I can't go wrong. I'm going to have a lot of the buttons to uh, be configured. Um, so I won't need a keyboard at all for anything. Um, but yeah, uh, this is it. This is beautiful. Uh, super nice. Can't wait to get this uh, mounted on there. Yeah, so that's the, uh, the button plate that he made for me. Uh, very, again, it's carbon fiber on the front, super sturdy construction. Uh, it's pretty solid, actually, for... And, uh, so, yeah, my uh, SIM card ran out of disk space, so I uh, had to get some data off of it, and uh, we're back. So, this is the, uh, the button plate. Uh, again, you can see all the buttons, all the rotor encoders. Um, you can hear all the buttons. Toggle switches here, up and down. Uh, we have, of course, the uh, Astro shifters and the clutch paddles. Okay. Up close, a personal look. So you can see those. I'll show you the back here. See that. So this is going to go on the uh, Turn R20 uh, wheel. Um, so yeah. Pretty sweet. Uh, I can't wait to get this thing on and uh, start running with it. All right, so let's see what else we have in the box. Let's see if we can get this out of here without uh, too many peanuts going everywhere. Sim racing stickers, you can see those. And then I ordered um, some green stickers for my wheel and the button box. So you can see we have beautiful bright green stickers. So those are going to go on the uh, button box, on the wheel, and um, on the dash, which is what I'm about to show you now. This is really cool. stuff we have. And there you have it. Look at that. This is a dash specifically made the tracker is a TR160. It's all uh, carbon fiber. Because we got rotaries here, more rotaries, uh, all the push buttons, we got a toggle switch, and of course we have a little apex button. Um, right here we can use that for the reset. Um, this has a toggle switch, we can use that for ignition. Um, but yeah, this is a little back close there. This is a uh, dash. Uh, it's going to use two USB ports. Again, I bought a USB um, hub to connect all this stuff to because I'll use uh, two USBs for this guy. I'm going to use two more for this guy. And then, of course, we'll need one for the plate. So we're going to 
a lot of USB ports are going to be used in this, but uh, so there's that. Uh, but this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I don't even know what to say about it. It, it looks absolutely amazing. It's all carbon fiber and fresh. Absolutely beautiful. It's going to be really, really cool on the Tracker ACT 160. So that will get installed shortly. Uh, when we get that installed, we'll do the complete uh, build out of the rig and we'll show this um, installed on there and using it. Um, but yeah, this is. This is absolutely awesome. Put that over here. Well, let's see what else we have in here. Uh, we have the coil cable for the steering wheel. Take that out quick for the uh, button plate. It's got this nice, really thick cable and coils. Uh, the ends will go for the wheel, for the button plate. You see it stretches out pretty, uh, got a lot of room there. We have the uh, all the USB cables that we're going to need uh, for the button box and everything. So we have those. And these are going to be six foot cords. And I ordered some TR ones for the for the wheels. So my original plan for all the screws, um, the wheels for the QRs. Uh, of course, we have the QR here. Pull that, Pull that out. Uh, yeah. So we got a full set, and then I got another for the wheel side. Um, my plan was to have two wheels, uh, with the R20, and I was going to get a wheel at Oval for NASCAR. However, in the midst of all this coming in, someone on the uh, hardware forums put up the uh, Asher, the Martin Asher F64 uh, open wheel cart wheel, and I uh, kind of couldn't resist. So I'm going to need another one of these now, but. Uh, yeah, so now we have three wheels instead of two. But don't tell the wife. <sighs> um, but yeah, <laughs> so we got all the hardware, screws for that. Um, put all that in there. Make sure there's a few other things in here. Uh, get some stickers. And some plastic pieces, I'm not exactly sure what they go to, but I guess we'll figure that out as we go. So there's some more stickers. Uh, this is uh, a little guy to convert the, uh, the coil cable over to USB. Um, and of course you can see it's got the little slots on it so you can plug that right into your T slots um, and be good to go. So you can see that. Again it's just a the cold cable going here and convert it to USB and go to your computer. Hook up your wheel. I think we're getting to the end. I think that's it actually. Here. Got a lot of peanuts. Box full of peanuts. If anyone wants some pink peanuts. Yeah, so that is it. We got the uh, Stream Deck XL button box, uh, the Race Deck extra large button box. Uh, we'll hold the Stream Deck XL in here. So we'll have a bunch of buttons there. Uh, of course, 
the button plate for the wheel. It's going on the Turn Racing R20. And we have the dash. Now we got to figure out what to do with all these buttons. We have a ton of buttons. I don't know what we're going to do with the ball yet. But there's going to be a lot of configuring to do with this guy. That here. The cold cable. The USB converter. The cold cable of the USB. We got the sticker. Plastic stuff. Uh, a full Q1R system and one real side Q1R here. Um, and then of course our USB cables. And our bright green stickers. That's it. That is everything in this box. Uh, as you can see, we got quite the build going. It's going to be absolutely awesome when we get it all done. Um, so you're going to want to be sure to check that out. Uh, be sure to check Jimmy out at Apex Sim Racing. Uh, like I said, the guy's awesome. Uh, super responsive. Great customer service. Um, and he makes tremendous quality products. These things are absolutely amazing. So be sure to go check out Apex Sim Racing. Um, but that's it. This is the Apex Sim Racing unboxing. Uh, this is the Epic Sim Rig Build Part 3. We got a couple more, we got one more unboxing today, that'll be the Turn Racing R20. It's the brand new Evo R20, so we look forward to that. Um, and then we'll get this whole thing together. Uh, I got the rig mostly together now. Um, I did, uh, been working on some videos to get the, to kind of show the build video. It hasn't been going too great, but uh, we'll piece it all together and see what we got at the end. Uh, I think I skipped a couple steps, so we'll have to go back and uh, reshoot those videos of how, how we built that. Um, and then we'll, once we get it all installed, we'll do an entire uh, complete Simric build uh, video of what, what, what we have installed and what it looks like. Um, I do, uh, later this year, we'll order some 32-inch monitors and a new video card. We're just waiting for the, uh, the new 3080s to come out. Um, and then we'll pick out some 32-inch monitors to go on. I have triple 27s right now. They're just 1080p 60-hertz monitors. They're about 10 years old, I guess, now. Um, they're nothing special, but they work great. Um, but it's going to be an awesome build, so stick around, be sure to like and subscribe, and uh, check us out. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.